Hello and welcome back to the Online Marketing Academy. My name is Mick Sayer and in this video we're talking about website planning. Now planning your website or online marketing campaign is the single most important step on the road to success of your online marketing experience. So regardless of the size of your business, whether you're a startup or a corporate mega brand, you would be wise to know what you want to achieve before you invest any time or money with website designers or online marketing consultants. The problem with this statement, of course, is that non-internet marketers don't really know what to plan for. That's because in any trade, we don't know what we don't know. Now hopefully, this is a thought-provoking phrase which I hope will resonate with you before you begin on your online marketing journey. Now, the internet is like a massive funnel into which we pour prospects who hopefully turn out the other end as paying customers. But simply having a website is not enough because most, and I really do mean most websites, are a massive disappointment to their owners. The original website goal for them was to build or buy a website which would introduce lots of new customers to the business and generate meaningful sales. The reality is though that this does not happen for most website owners because they were initially lulled into a false sense of security by cheap website designers who only provide a small part of the online marketing success story. This is because a website is made up of many parts. And each part is very important because in order for a website to create the attention, i.e. to be found online by the prospects that you're seeking to buy your goods, it needs to have many more functions than simply a nice design. And then the website function needs to be considered in order for the website to generate interest with the targeted visitors who land on your site. And also, your website content has got to be of consistent high quality in order to create the desire for your visitors to take the action that you strategically require. Obviously, that action is lots of targeted website visitors into your goal funnel, and of course, these pop out at the other end as paying clients. Now, Website planning includes a detailed understanding of your strategic business goals. So once your website developer, hopefully us at the Online Marketing Academy, understands your goals, we can help you decide what functions your website will need. And only then could we decide on the type of website that you require and the size and depth of a website that you would need. So the next step would be to carry out a great deal of research to discover who your online competition is and how we could optimise your website to beat that competition and gain first page rankings on Google and the other search engines above your competitors. Without, first, without a first page ranking, your website could be quite lonely. Let me tell you what I mean. So when you search something in Google, for instance, if you were to search for the Online Marketing Academy, Google would return 10 websites to you for you to choose from to the front page of Google. Now importantly, the number one spot on Google, the organic number one spot on Google, will get 42% of all clicks from Google to the websites listed. The second position will get 12% of the clicks, the third 8%, fourth 6%, 5th 5%, 6th 4% and the 7th will get 3% of the clicks from Google to the website. Now that adds up to 80% so the other 20% of clicks from Google to websites is via the sponsored links and positions 8, 9 and 10 on Google. So importantly you need to be in that top 7 and importantly we have to strategically plan to be number 1 on Google. If we can't plan to do that we're probably going to be a bit lonely online. So, website planning. Firstly, we need to fully understand, or your web developer needs to fully understand your short, medium and long-term goals. Once that is understood, the website developer will carry out lots and lots of research to ensure that they understand um, how deep the website would be, how many pages the website would need to have, and what functions the website would need to have. Functions are very important because, generally speaking, most website designers will take a short brief from the client and design a website. In this respect, it always comes to tears 
because the functions that the website needs in the future if they don't exist in the website in the first place then it can be a very very expensive job indeed to put those functions onto a website at a later stage and if the website was made in static HTML or PHP it could well be impossible to add the functions that you may need at a future stage. So functions are important. What functions could we be talking about? And there are many of them. This is not an exhausted list. So website pages to tell your main story. A blog to build authority and to demonstrate your expertise. A shopping cart to sell your products and services. You may need an image gallery to display all your stuff. You might want to capture visitor details. We'd be surprised if you didn't want to do that. You might want to distribute newsletters automatically. You might want to include RSS feeds to syndicate your content and your blogs to other platforms. You may want a private members area for your subscribed visitors. You might want a website search facility. As your website grows in size, it's a good idea to give the visitors an opportunity to search for what they're looking for. You might want to integrate Facebook and Twitter streams onto your website or Facebook like buttons. You might want to have prospect invent uh, incentive programs. Give them something to, um, in, in order for them to give you their name and email address. You might want social media integration. And as I said, this is not an exhaustive list, but unless you know what functions your website needs, you'll never end up with a website that will achieve your goals. So website's functions are very important, of course. And next up would be search engine optimization. Search engine optimization comes in two parts, on-site and off-site. So S search engine optimization is far too big and complicated a subject to cover on this video, so I'm not going to try. But please bear in mind that if you want your website to be found online and if you want to be on the front page of Google and hopefully eventually get that coveted number one spot then I suggest that uh, search engine optimization is very important so if we need to be here on the first page of Google then we've got to get our search engine optimization right and the website needs to be optimized for the search engines on-site and off-site techniques are used so this is the spot that we need to achieve and without a lot of research and without detailed search engine optimization on site and off site, you'll never get to this position. So there needs to be complete congruence between the on site and off site SEO. This means starting with the correct website address, metadata, page titles and URLs, website com content, image optimization, internal linking strategy, external linking strategy social media activity. All of these things need to be considered if you're to have a successful online campaign. Next up is website copywriting. Now obviously you and your staff are the most knowledgeable people about your products or services so you're the best people to write the content for your website. However, writing copy for websites is a little bit different to writing copy for print in as much as the copy needs to read well for website visitors, humans, but it also needs to be structured effectively for the search engines. And only a skilled search engine optimization expert knows how to perform these tasks effectively. So understandably, SEO copy editing is another task which takes time and could ask, add, add to the cost of the value of the website. Also, a website needs a minimum of 25 pages of copy and images to be effective in the search engines and each page needs to have around about 600 words. So as you can see, it's quite a big task. Now, if you're in a really tough category, it could take hundreds of pages of website content to get to that first spot on Google. So these points have got to be borne in mind when you're planning your website strategy and planning your website budgets. Importantly though, when you gain to engage a website development team to build a website for you, they should tell you how many pages your website should need in order to beat the competition in the search engine rankings. And this only can be done following detailed research of your category and your competition. In terms of uh, website content management, okay, so you've taken delivery of your newly, highly optimized web website, so what's next? 
Well, in order to compete at the top and steer ahead of your competition, you need to add frequent new copy to your website, at least once a month and possibly more. And as things in your business develop, you'll need to edit existing content, add new categories, add new pages, posts and images, etc. Now you only have two choices. Either you pay a web developer to do this work for you, and you add content um, by paying the webmaster to visit your website, edit the content, pay the bill. Now over the lifetime of a, uh, over the lifetime of a website, this could be a very expensive exercise. However, with a good content management system, any operative in your business who can use a word processor can, with a little bit of training, create world-class content. And I emphasize a little bit of training because an untrained operative could eventually undo all of the good work carried out uh, on S search engine optimization on the original uh, loaded site. So our content uh, management systems and website packages do include a content management system and training to use it as well so we don't leave our customers in the lurch to, uh, to defend on their own so website hosting is next up and website addresses now I advise against purchasing website hosting packages or domain names until after the research has been carried out by an expert otherwise it's quite likely that you'll make costly mistakes which could impede the professional development of your online marketing campaigns. And lastly, about images. Good images can be fantastic for a website. Bad images will be terrible for a website. So if you've got professional images already, that's fantastic. But if you've not, you may, be, you may need to buy professional royalty-free images from um, from places like iStock or even get a photographer to, um, to, to, to shoot professional images for you. But your web development team would need to source images in the final result. So if you don't have images, we can source them, but there is a cost added to that because royalty free images do need to be purchased if your website is to be legal and if your website is to look fantastic. Okay, so this has been an introduction to website planning and what I've tried to do is just to explain that it is not a simple process and buying a cheap website could be counterproductive to your business. So if you'd like to speak to us further at the Online Marketing Academy about website design or website development or online marketing, we encourage you to search Google for us, the Online Marketing Academy. You'll find us here at the number one ranked spot or down in the bottom left hand side of this picture you'll find our telephone number. So this has been Mick Sear from the Online Marketing Academy talking about website planning. We hope to speak to you soon. Bye for now.